Okay, what's your jack in the box budget? Uh, yeah, could I get a uh, jumpin' jack splash, a medium? Medium? Uh, and then 20 chicken nuggets. Alrighty. And, um, two hash browns, and that'll be it. Today, I bring to you the jumpin' jack splash, exclusively from Jack in the Box. I'm typically one of those old curmudgeons who when I go through the drive-thru of any restaurant, I normally just get water. But driving by my local Jack in the Box, I kept seeing this advertised on a sign, Jumpin' Jack Splash, which contains cherry, lime, lemon, and raspberry all combined into one refreshment. So let's try this, shall we? Here goes the taste test. Wow. I taste the lime, I taste the raspberry, I taste the lemonade, and I taste the cherry. Now the number one thing I like about this refreshment, this drink, is that there's no carbonation. This is not a carbonated drink, which is one of the main, many reasons why I don't usually get soda at restaurants is because one, I want to be able to eat all my food, but this is actually a refreshment that doesn't have carbonation. And for that, I thank you, Jack in the Box. Thank you so much. And I think the most impressive thing about this drink is the fact that none of the flavors out of the four overpower one another. In other words, you can taste each flavor that's in this pretty equally. There's a common issue with most refreshments that are combined, you know, exclusive things like this from Jack in the Box, is that they usually overpower. One flavor always dominates the other flavor. You can taste that flavor above all the others. And quite frankly, if you have one flavor dominating all the others, it doesn't really come across as a really refreshing drink when you can't equally taste everything else. Like whether it be soda, whether it be refreshments like the Jumpin' Jack Splash, equal flavor in a meal or in a drink is typically a really hard thing to accomplish, and Jack in the Box definitely has accomplished that. So kudos, Jack in the Box, for succeeding in combining flavors, which I didn't think that were actually possible to equally distribute in a drink. But hey, this isn't done yet until we combine it with food because you know, you can drink a drink, but unless you combine that drink with the food that you're eating, then it truly has not accomplished its goal of quenching your thirst until you combine it with food because food enhances the flavor of any drink. We all know this. And can I just quickly say that one of my most favorite things about Jack in the Box is the fact that I can order these hash browns any time of the day. Do you know how many restaurants I've went to where their hash browns, as good as they may be, are only able to be ordered at a particular time of morning? But Jack and Box, I left one of the things I love about Jack and Box is their menu is 24 hours a day in terms I can order the breakfast because I'm one of those people that sometimes I want breakfast for dinner. And it just makes me happy to be able to eat a hash brown for lunch, you know? Mmm. I love their hash browns. Okay. Now the test. I got that hash brown in my mouth. The flavor of that. Combined with this. The Jumpin' Jack Splash. Let's see how it plays out. Woo! Mmm! Definitely try this. Definitely. If you go to Jack in the Box, definitely try the Jumpin' Jack Splash. Having cherry, lime, raspberry, and lemon all combined into your mouth at once is a very unique, it's a very unique taste. And one that's actually hard to put into words to describe other than it's really, really tasty. But hey, you know, it's not a true review unless we take a look at inside of what exactly the Jumpin' Jack Splash looks like. So... That is what it looks like inside with the uh, four flavors. No fuzzy bubbles, again, because it's not carbonated, which is something that I'm really glad that it's not because I'm not a fan of carbonation in any sort of condiments. And a cool little fact is they also allow you to get diet. So if you're a diet person, you can get Jumpin' Jack Splash in a diet. Not that I need to go on a diet because I'm fairly skinny as it is. Doesn't matter how many nuggets I eat. I can't gain weight for the most part. I'm stuck. At 145 pounds. So yeah, if you have a Jack in the Box near you, I highly recommend trying the Jumpin' Jack Splash. If carbonation isn't your thing, then this refreshment will do you justice. And as always, folks, thank you guys for watching this video. If you like this video and you have any recommendations for future products you'd like me to go out and taste or review, leave a comment down below letting me know, and maybe I'll do just that.